Hyundai and Toyota have shared the early season victories, as anticipated perhaps, but when it comes to the standout driver so far, well, how about M Sport's Adrian Formo? Back in the top flight after dropping down to the WRC2 Support Series last year, the Frenchman has started this season in some style. Back-to-back -back podiums, Sweden and Safari, third in the Drivers' Championship. And looking for another strong outing in Croatia, with fond memories of his top flight debut there three years ago. That was a fantastic weekend for me. Uh, my first ever WRC event with the World Rally Car. In Croatia, brand new rally, uh, so completely new for me. Uh, to be fair, it started with the with the test. We, we didn't really well uh, because uh, we had some technical issue. But then for the last uh, last one and a half hours, I think I've done well, I've done one fifty k because I just have to drive the car uh, just to get some driving with the car before the rally. But at the end, I did uh, my my first ever rally, finishing top five uh, on tarmac on a new rally. It was really, really fantastic. There have been ups and downs since that promising first outing three years ago, but through it all, Fermo has routinely driven with a smile on his face. Sport is a serious business at the elite level for sure, but the Frenchman is determined to appreciate and enjoy the experience. For sure, uh, you know, it's when you, you you start something new, a new activity or, or whatever, you, you are always smiling if you enjoy it. And because I was enjoying it, it was a good weekend. So for sure, it's uh, it's uh, in my memories and uh, and I really enjoy to, to think about it. Uh, it was a great rally also, so it was really special. Three years on, Formos smile is even wider on the back of those career high podiums in Sweden and Safari. Croatia, a totally different challenge, the first full asphalt round of the campaign, and a far from smooth road ahead on an ever-changing surface. Five rallies in one. This is what it comes for me with, uh, with Croatia. You, you do one stage and I compare with my experience from the French Championship and sometimes you are in the 2K, sometimes you are in Antiba, sometimes you are... It's, it's changing all the time in the Vosges also. So, so for me, there is many different rallies in one because stages are every time different. The grip level is always different. The type of the stage is different. So this is why it's really special and quite technical. Positive reflections on Croatia for M Sports' Adrian Formo. Mixed memories for Toyota's Elvin Evans. That emotional victory last year dedicated to Craig Breen. Off the podium in 2022, very much on it a year earlier, Croatia's first appearance in the WRC, the Welshman on course for victory until the final corner. A slight miscalculation, conceding victory to teammate Sebastian Ogier by just six tenths of a second, the third closest finish in WRC history. That's all in the past, the Welshman enjoying a strong start to this year, second in the Drivers' Championship, going into the season's first asphalt rally. It's a very demanding rally. It's, it's a rally with very changeable grip, uh, a lot of different uh, surface changes, and of course with it comes a lot of cutting, a lot of pollution, uh, and therefore it's normally very changeable in terms of grip, and, and that's always difficult to read. I would say it's a dirty tarmac rally. Um, really, it's obviously quite bumpy in, in some parts. So, yeah, it's actually not too, too similar to anything else we have on the calendar, but I guess a, a resemblance to uh, a sort of wet Monte Carlo or even bits of uh, bits of Central Europe also. Elman Evans second in the early season rankings, just six points behind pace setter Thierry Neville after the opening three rounds. The Belgian chasing his first win in Croatia, his best result so far, two third places. Nonetheless, he's a big fan of the event. I love it. Croatia is a really challenging tarmac event. Um, has a lot of difficulties and uh, yeah, I think it's one of the most challenging and demanding tarmac events of the I have done so far. I would say it's rather sleepy tarmac. Um, sleepy to very sleepy even in, in the narrow roads. Um, but you can have a mix of everything and obviously the weather can make it really challenging as well. Uh, but whatever dry or wet, um, yeah, the profile of the roads, the nature of the roads made it make the driving very difficult. I mean, it's high speed, um, so you need a lot of precision, um, so lots of cutting, um, and there's a lot of blind corners and quests and, and, and jumps. I mean, it's not usual that on, on a tarmac rally you are four wheels off the ground so often. 
Recent history would suggest Nabil and Hyundai have their work cut out in Croatia. Toyota have dominated since the event joined the calendar three years ago. Nabil, of course, won the season opener, Monte Carlo, on tarmac, albeit different conditions. But could that offer some confidence for Croatia? It's hard to say. I mean, uh, we're gonna see. Mont, uh, yeah, it was a bit wet and slippy, but still the surface is more abrasive. Um, here, some kind of slippy. I don't know. We're gonna see. The car felt good in Monte. If it feels that good in Croatia, um, then we have good chances to be fighting for victory again. Yeah.